Hey there, uh, this is Django and this is another uh, demo for a Sable that's going to be posted for sale on the FX Sabres forums. This is a uh, JK Sabres um, V2, uh, Luke Return the Jedi Saber. The Saber has a uh, Tri Rebel in here with a pretty big heat sink. Um, not that it really needs it. But it's uh, green, green, and with a red flash on clash. The resistor is in here, big old resistor, and it's got a uh, rumble motor here in the grips, uh, right here. It's got a 14650 lithium ion pack, and on top of that is the Crystal Focus 4.31. That's the one that uses the raw sound format. Um, back here in the back, it's got a 2 watt high bass speaker and a recharge port in the pommel. Um, we'll be going over demo how to get to the SD card so you can change the fonts. Um, this has the long uh, Pastor Jedi card. Uh, another one of the, I forget the card that's, I think this is a Pastor Jedi card. This also has a bar graph in it. Um, there's four idle LEDs that uh, do animations up here. There's also an accident LED in the pommel. Um, this also has an accurate uh, cone knob with the uh, straight knurling, the coin edge knurling, and the filibuster screw, and a big D-ring. Uh, Graphlex clamp, and the recharge port is in the pommel, and pull the kill key. I'm a Jedi, like my father before me. As you can see, the saber's kind of loud. Uh, this is the... I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. That's the uh, um, auxiliary switch right here. You push down on the lever and it switches. Jedi. And we'll go into eye saber. This is a rebel that surrendered to us. Although he denies it, I believe there may be more of them. And I request permission to conduct a further search of the area. He was armed only with this. Good work, Commander. Leave us. Conduct your search and bring his companions to me. Yes, my lord. Okay, that is the uh, throne room boot package. It goes through uh, quite a few of the scenes. Um, and the bar graph, obviously, uh, is a... Uh, uh, volume level. You can also put a blade in it and it will um, flash along with the uh, um, talking too. Okay, um, now to get out of the uh, eye saber, you just put the kill key in. You failed, Your Highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. And that puts it into the uh, last font that you had. Okay. Go ahead and put a blade in. Let's see what it looks like lit up with a flash on flash. And this is the power switch right here, over here on the side of this little uh, stubby metal thing. Nice blue blade is, nice green. Here's the flash on flash. Kind of yellowish. So it sounds pretty good with the uh, two watt high bass speaker. that I did along with the upgrade for the uh, main LED. Okay. Now for the uh, rest of the fonts. Go into the menu again. I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. And there are lots.
lots of uh, boot sounds in there too. Um, so you can see the, uh, the accidentally used flash up there on the top. And those are programmable as well through the S SD card. idle LED, it'll flash when the saber's on, and these are just small little SMD LEDs, um, really would be a bad idea to take and move this card around or try and take it out because that will break all the wire connections that are in there, so don't do that. Um, SD card access. SD card access in this one is a little bit um, fiddly, I think that's the best word for it. First thing you have to do is you have to remove the filibuster screw is right in the middle of the threading and you just take it out okay pretty short it'll stay in there though next put the kill key in okay while doing this you just turn go ahead and break it a little bit just to get it to where it's moving and you want this to stay in place you don't want um the uh, wires to twist. So either hold it in place like this and turn, or you could use an Allen wrench, like so. Just put it in there and then turn. And turn it slowly. You don't want to turn it too fast. Oh, and there is a two in here. I guess, I guess this was number two. I left it on there because uh, I didn't see any need to take it off. Some, if you want that uh, two gone, just let me know, and I will take it off. And it's with the... Just remove it. Okay, so this is the speaker pod. It's a 2-watt high base speaker, and this is kind of held in place by Velcro. And this is the uh, guard for the uh, wiring so it doesn't interfere with the speaker. Um, let me just go ahead and just give this a little pull. Okay, and that's your um, speaker pod. Uh, there's a little bit of Velcro you can see down there, and there's the CF down up in the top. Um, just go ahead and put that over to one side and move the wires just a little bit. That's kind of hard to see. Use a pair of hemostats. Let's go ahead and. First time for everything. Oh, it's caught on a wire. Pardon me. There it goes. It's wondering why I couldn't get it out. side before that goes out the door. There it is. So sorry about that. See, it does come out. It was because this wire over here, this white one was uh in front of the SD card. I couldn't see it. Once you have your SD card out you can make your changes to your uh, files and then once you're done
When copying the files over, I recommend doing it um, uh, three, three folders at a time, and then the last one of the menu stuff. Um, usually that prevents any kind of errors uh, when copying over. Um, that's just the way it is. If you hear a series of beeps when you try to go into a font, that means it didn't copy over correctly. And it can happen. You could actually go into the Saber and uh, be using it and then just decide to go into a font you know, later and you'll hear the beeps and then you'll know you'll have to uh, um, go and reformat the card and try and load it again. Okay, to get everything back together, the wires here up on the top, this green wire, it needs to uh, fold flat so it's not getting into any of the threading. So you won't be able to see it all. And then just push this back down and you want it in the center. Now your other wires here, they should be laying basically parallel with the control box. There are the, there's a, um, a wire gather that's right below that that keeps this in line. And then you can just take and put this on the pommel like so and turn it and once you get it threaded on just a little bit you can just keep turning slowly and you want to keep this in place still Okay, it's all the way on. Then you just take and put your screw back in here. Once it's on, that's it. Okay. One last time. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Anyway, thanks for looking. Uh, this is available for sale on the FX Savers forums. Um, later.